Hi everybody, this is Jason Williams. Have you ever had a project where you write more lines of code to manage state than you do actual business logic? Let's take a look at a simple solution that you can use in your code to try and clean some of that up. This is a simple application that's just searching an online service. Uh, it's searching movies, in fact. So if I start typing the name of a movie, You'll notice this state here is managed. Uh, this is an MVVM application. It's managed in the view model. It's an is busy flag. Let me show that one more time. If we search for movies, you'll see the wait state sitting there and it turns on when we start to search and then it turns off when we're done searching. Let's go take a look at the implementation of that is busy state. So in our search method, we have is busy equals true. And then throughout the method, we have to track it. We have to say, well, if I can't actually perform a search right now, I'm going to set the state to false. Or if I go ahead and search and then I get no results, I'm going to set the state to false as well. Or if I get through and I actually do find some search results, I need to set the is a busy state to false at the end of the method as well. And so we're doing a lot of work to manage this state. And I think that I have found a possible solution to this problem. And the way it's implemented is with an iDisposable. Now you might think iDisposable is for managed resources, sometimes unmanaged resources, to get them garbage collected at the right time. And you would be correct. However, you can also utilize the using statement in a way that allows us to manage this state without doing so much work. And the way we're going to implement that is with a simple set of uh, methods and classes. So let's take a look at those first. So let's go into the uh, view model base. And we'll come down here and we'll take a look at the show busy while executing. This is the method we're going to call at the beginning of the method. And it's going to set our is busy to true because it's going to create a new instance of this busy disposable. Busy disposable is just a class that takes an action and that action takes a Boolean. And when the constructor runs for our busy disposable, it's going to call that action and pass in true. And that's going to set our is busy flag. Okay. And then when this object is disposed, it's going to call the action one more time and it's going to call it with the value of false. And that's going to set our is busy flag to false. Starting to make sense? I hope so. Let's see how the implementation of that would go. So at the very beginning, we're going to need a using statement. We're going to say, we'll just call the variable busy and we're going to say uh, show busy while executing. And then inside of the method here, we don't need this here, uh, which means we don't need these curly brackets. So we can do that. That's a little bit cleaner. We don't need this is busy here or these curly brackets. So that's good. And then we don't need this last is busy equals false either. So that's cleaned up the code quite a bit. Let's see if it still functions. So if we run the application, we're going to end up with our window and then if we start searching for a movie we see our is busy state set to true and then it's set to false and the results are written to the to the list so this is just a short little tip about how to potentially manage that state without having that code all over inside of your methods and classes i hope you find this tip useful thanks